To say it snowed this weekend is a total understatement. Now, this hill was here before. I, I have lost the neighbors, completely lost them. A lot of this had gone. And then Aaron cleared this several times this weekend. And now it is inches, probably six more inches of snow since yesterday. So we are headed to town. I changed the projects because of some time frame with what took to get this frame done. So it will be in the next video. But today we do two super cool projects that ended up amazing. I can't wait to share them with you. Welcome to Modern Homestead Alaska. We are Aaron and Jessica Milnes. We are building a modern homestead outside of Wasilla, Alaska with the help of three of our children. Our second son, Caleb, our daughter, Cody Ann, and the youngest of our family, Wyatt, along with our three dogs, Tipper and Daisy, and the newest addition, Roberto. So this is a project I wanted to do for a really long time, and I'm excited because I'm gonna do it with Cody, and maybe Aaron will come out here and help us. But I have a bunch of frames that I got today at Walmart. I looked everywhere for frames, and they have some actually kind of pretty frames, I think, that will go with the projects we're doing. So you're gonna have to stick around <laughs> after today. Roberto's playing with Cody um, under the table, but to see how all of this goes together. But the thing is, is these frames are like eight and $11. I looked someplace else for frames and an eight by 10 frame they wanted $35 for it. So, the project that her and I are gonna work on that we've never done is we are gonna go through a bunch of family photos, pick out our favorites, and fill these frames. And then the rest of the week as I do all the projects, I'll bring you back later when we actually put all of these frames throughout the house. So, let's start looking through photos. Like I said just a second ago, this is a project that I have never completed. I have so many pictures of the kids and our family and I would order them and I just never put them in frames. I never put them up in the house. It just hasn't ever really been something I've done, but it has always been something that I wanted to do. And what I'm hiding from you right here is a picture of Aaron when we were so young. The kids were so little. He has no beard. I don't know how many of you know. I married someone without a beard, but he's had a beard for very many years, but you will see it in a second. Oh, yeah. That entire giant box is family photos. And later on, that's also the project that I needed to work on the office. But look at the handsome man I married. Who's real cool? G Mom, look. Now, how does it feel? That's Jita. Those are my grandparents. Aw, Erin, who's this? My friend, Chef. She is so, she is the cutest little girl. You're so beautiful now, but oh my gosh. Melt the heart. OMG, guys, this is when I got a spanking. <laughs> this is when I got a spanking. Because <laughs> she was being bad. No, I cut my own hair. Oh, I remember doing it. You know that? That's like, it's like so faint, but I do remember it. It was the day before Hannah's wedding. And mom spanked me. Yeah, but you did get a for that. It's so ridiculous. I didn't need a spank for that. Just didn't, don't do that next time. <laughs> I don't know if you got a good laugh out of it, but she is seriously my favorite person to hang out with. She has her dad's personality 
and it is such a dry sense of humor. But going through these family photos with her is hysterical. Her comments throughout the night on all of them almost killed me. Yes. Why does he look 90? <laughs> He's so mean, Aaron. No, for real. Like, I was like, he's so related to dad, but I don't know who it is. I feel like he should bring back the overalls. I ended up putting it, like, on time lapse because this bucket is so massive. And it would be a three-hour-long video, no lie, on just doing these family photos and this project. But I just wanted to say, as I try on this channel to be encouraging, that... To me, these are some of the greatest times ever. I was literally texting pictures to my cousins and sisters, and this is really something my entire family enjoys. When my grandma digs out like her photo boxes that literally look like mine, nothing is organized, it doesn't make any sense, it's not an album, it's just kind of this crazy free-for-all but we love it. So I encourage you the next holiday, the next time your children or family comes to visit, dig out those old photo boxes. It causes so much time and conversation. Aaron, you kind of see his arm once in a while. He didn't want to be on camera, but he even joined in when Wyatt got home from practice. He joined in as part of it. Everyone just kind of puts down the technology for the most part, TV's off, you conversate, and it really is such a beautiful family time. And now at the end of the evening, just filling these photo frames, would not believe this was hours and hours of work and... Um, it was just such a good time. So many memories. That's even our bull. We framed a picture of Mikey, our, um, African bull that we had and just, oh, what a beautiful time. You guys, if you have been waiting and holding on to those pictures, I encourage you. Walmart was the cheapest. I don't think I paid more than 11 or $13 for a single frame. And then that same evening, I put together their Valentine's gifts. I sometimes just do a box of chocolate, but this year I kind of did a little special something for everyone home. I did go ahead and get Cody that big set of glass. She can take those when, whenever she moves out and does her own thing, continuing to collect kind of some dishes and stuff for her. And the ball is for Wyatt in this really cool green box I got at my favorite store in Wasilla, the Wagon Wheel. Aaron had been asking for one of these hydro flasks, but I got kind of some cool soaps and some, he has psoriasis, so really, really good hand cream and some different things. I don't know if you know, these um, hydro flasks, you put stickers on them and they're very specific stickers, but it kind of makes the hydro flask individual which we think is great and honestly for the price that you're paying for the bottles you want a good quality they keep from freezing up here but each one of the cards i also got at wagon wheel and every one of them is like a copy of like a water painting or a photo, the bear one um, was a photo that a local lady here in Alaska takes and then they turn them into cards. So instead of just getting Valentine's cards, I got kind of these individual cards. For Cody, I got a book of a mother's prayers for her daughter. And then those are some place marks. She's been doing a lot of Bible studies lately herself and then kind of a pocket heart that she has and then some really cute stickers she has two or three hydro flasks herself 
but the daughter of the king she put on in the morning as well. And then of course, princess chocolates because she is my princess. For Wyatt, teenage boys and Valentine's, man, they're hard to shop for, or is it just me? It's just such a weird thing, I think. So he got a new indoor-outdoor basketball. He likes to go with his friends on Friday, and they play basketball, and he got this little Alaska mousse as well as some chocolates, and then like a special soap I got for him. And then I just fill out each one of the really beautiful but individual blank cards, the little love note to all of the loves of my life. And then when they wake up in the morning, they just kind of have a little bit of a special gift on the table to brighten their day. And then there you have it. I just leave out a little special Valentine for all of my favorite people. Caleb is out of town. Our other son, of course, is out of state. I wanted to show you kind of why I got Aaron this green box. So every day he leaves his beard stuff just on the sink. And part of like organizing and those sort of things is making it to where it just looks beautiful wherever it is. And I, I like the sink. It's like pinks and soaps and totally me, right? And I was like, well, why don't I just get rid of these two things out of here in order to make it to where I could do something that Aaron naturally does. So soaps will get stored away. Lotion. I thought, what if I just make it to where my husband has his own part? And I kind of just thought that little toolbox is so cute manly, masculine, and he can throw his stuff in there. Just a little hand lotion for psoriasis. These are made here in Alaska. So, how cute is that? So I want to build these are going to be like really, really big wall sconces for the giant wall in the living room. After I build this, we'll end the video for today and then I will bring you back. I'm continuing to film. I have so many projects, so many things going on around here that right now would be a good time to hit the subscribe button because you are not going to believe because it's in my head. <laughs> But I am convinced this is going to come together so beautifully, you guys. But what I have is kind of these um, shutters. And they're made by a local guy here in Wasilla. But you can literally get something like this, um, I'm sure, wherever you are. I need to pause really quick and back up the video to the night before and show you how I made these metal pieces. To build these like you have seen in my kitchen, and then that is going to in the boys' rooms with their wall sconces and so on, I do have to show you if you ever get this galvanized steel basically, I wanted it like a little bit bulkier today, so we're doing three quarters of an inch. You have to wipe these with acetone, fingernail polish remover, something like that. There's an oil on them, so if you go to spray paint them, it won't stick. Now, these are not like being used and twisted around and so on all the time, so the paint works really well on them, but in order to get the paint to stick and not kind of pool up with the oil, you do have to wipe these with acetone. Let me show you how I paint these things. 
I have to spray paint inside. I know it's terrible. So I do it in the basement and I crack a window and then in a second I turn on that fan when I leave. But I just open the pieces and kind of find a place on this board that will allow for each piece to stand up because once you paint them, you can't really move them around very much but I just use the acetone on a rag. You should probably wear gloves for this, but um, <laughs> I am notorious for not doing what I should always be doing. Anyway, just scrub and clean them really good. The acetone does a perfect job of getting that greasy oil off of it so that you can paint them however you want. I don't know if I've ever shared, but when I paint things black, even though they have a shine, and I'll show you in an upcoming video kind of how I get that and the way that I protect the paint, but I use flat. I do not use a semi-gloss or a gloss. Always flat. It shows the least amount of flaws, and for me, it is the best paint, so whatever color you're painting them in, start with a flat paint don't just jump to that gloss or that semi-gloss. Okay, now we're back to the project and we'll use these pieces to build the sconce. It's gonna be perfect, but I wanna find the center. So, 11 and a half, which will be five and three quarters. So that's the center that way. And then, okay. So. I decided I'm just gonna do the touch-up paint and let it dry before we build the, the rest of it. I might as well get it all the way done right, not worry about how long it takes or the time or whatever, but just do it right and have it completely done when I put it on the wall. I did the second one, the same as the first. I found the center, both length and height, attached that main piece that is gonna hold it, screwed in the other two pieces. I put that, that cap on, and then I do the touch-up paint and let it dry before we move on. So originally, I had gotten these. Let me show you. I got these wreaths and I thought I would just tie a little ribbon on it and hang them on those. And then what I thought was, you know what, I would really prefer it to be like a light or a wall sconce or something like that and bring kind of some of the warm lighting in. I, of course, had no idea how I was gonna do that. This idea though is so similar if you look back at Caleb and Wyatt's bedroom builds to how we did their night lights. And these are the, the, this part, this is, it's just this light for an Edison bulb and then it plugs in. So it's what I create the wall sconces out of. And I just wanna get it open and started taking apart. Because the cord is like all folded up, very hard kind of to, to stretch it because it's wire, obviously, and it wants to hold this shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and start getting it stretched out. And then I went to the Home Depot and they now make, these are supposed to be, so you buy a thing that goes in your ceiling like my table light, and then these different bulbs and they are globes, they had probably 50 different designs. 
hang on something similar, but that would be hardwired into the house. So I went to the lighting section, which the light bulbs is where you find these and took it all apart in the Home Depot, one of them, to make sure that I could run it through, that it would hang, that it would do all of the different things that I wanted it to do. And it did. So I got the globes for $19, but I think they're gonna be better on the, the, um, the wall sconce is the word I'm looking for, that we're trying to build. And the reason I think they're gonna be better is they just needed something else to them. And maybe in a bedroom or something like you can totally just hang it. But I liked the idea of the globe. I'm taking all this off because you may be able to see those tags. You don't take them off if you're selling the item. But let's kind of stretch them. They're way long. So I do have some zip ties. So we're gonna zip tie it together. But so all I do is just this way. Come on, pull it together, lady. All right. That's, that's it. So this is gonna wrap around that pole. And so let me get all the tags off, get it all cleaned up. All right, so I did get it figured. This one we're gonna do opposite because it plugs in on the other side. So let's get this stuck up. I wanted the globe to hang about halfway down and so these are 60 inches long so I found 30 inches and just used a piece of tape in order to mark that and then I can start winding the cord around the the pole or the that uh, steel that we used. And then it takes some time but I just wrap it around the pole and then run it through the back. Um, the cord fits perfectly through there and use a zip tie to secure it. I am not generally super impressed with myself. So these are gonna go in the living room. You'll have to stick around because we have an entire makeover to do there. Obviously I've redone the entryway again, um, just changed some stuff, moved some stuff around and I have to fix some paint in here, bunch of other stuff, but I cannot wait to show you that area. But we did a couple of really cool projects on this video so that you'll have to hang out to see what we end up doing with all of the family pictures. But you guys look at those. So they're gonna hang and if you imagine a big mirror in between them, but those are going to be like the night lights in the living room near, I'll just show you. They're gonna go somewhere in there by the fire. And these will be so beautiful in the evening. I love the yellow lighting. I do that. So that's over my table and my like breakfast nook area. So that in the evenings, it kind of gives like the feeling and the look of like warm lighting, candle light, fire, those sort of things. So <laughs> I think they're beautiful. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Obviously you're getting sneak peeks, but we have so much work to tackle today. So just stay tuned and I will get to the next video personally immediately but for you, it'll be a couple of days. So see you soon, talk to you later. Oh, gratitude for the day, gratitude for the day. Um, you know what? It has snowed so much, like six additional inches and I'm literally grateful for winter because we have so many unfinished winter projects that when we start thinking about the garden and spring and all of those things, 
it kind of was causing anxiety, but now that it just keeps dumping snow on us, it's a reminder that we have plenty of time to get all of the inside projects done. So make sure you stick around and I will see you in the next video.